Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a review for the Autonomous Ergo office chair. So this is actually a really, really nice office chair. I actually decided, you know, after a few years in my case of utilizing a gaming chair that was quite expensive, I decided to switch to the Autonomous, mainly because I was suffering from a lot of back issues and I needed something that was more supportive over something that in my case was something that just kind of looked cool. So um, I decided to go with Autonomous because um, you know they're a well-known brand, had a lot of really good feedback and reviews, and just a lot of positive things out there that I could find about them. So I thought I'd go through, kind of give you some details on my overall thoughts of the chair. I'll talk about the functionality of the chair, and then um, you guys can kind of really decide from there. So let's talk about the chair itself. I've owned this now for going on probably about two, three years. Um, it's been a while. Um, it has taken a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing major. We actually have four cats in the household and one of them loves to like jump up on the chair. So unfortunately I've had some cat hair fun on the base of this. So that is something you have to keep in mind. Um, you do have a really, really thick foam pad here that you're gonna be basically supported on. So I haven't had any need to feel like I need something more supportive than this. Um, I can sit in this for long, long hours gaming and not really have any issues. You have a really nice um, curved mesh back piece that then rises up and then you've got a really nice head support up here at the top. Um, one of the things that I would say compared with other chairs that I've found, this is actually a really nice headset. It can basically be adjusted very easily. This just kind of um, like cracks to when you can hear like it's adjusting. So this is easily adjusted and whenever you hear those cracks, it's pretty much going to stay in that position. So there's some other ones I've seen that are very flimsy, just kind of, they wobble a lot. And this is actually probably one of the more sturdy headset pieces I've seen. Um, style wise, you have this like really cool bar that goes across the back and then these two beams that kind of come down. And then one of the nicest things and probably the biggest um, pro with this particular chair is you have this really large supported cushion that can be moved up or down to support your low back that then basically sits right here in the mesh. So one of the nice things is if you're sitting in the chair for like very long hours, you're gonna be in a circumstance where with this particular chair, um, it's just gonna breathe easy, right? You're not sitting on like fabric or leather, um, it, you know, not to say that you're gonna be like sweating or anything like that, but it just has a really breathable, I guess is the best way to describe it, um, back piece. So it's very comfortable. And of course that lumbar support is absolutely key if you're someone that could or potentially suffer from back pain from sitting at the computer for long hours. Um, in terms of some of the other functionality with this chair, you do have these two really nice supported armrests. I have a, a autonomous standing desk here and this actually fits perfectly right under it. Even at its lowest setting, I can basically go right up to it. I'm not able to quite go under, but because I have a standing desk, I can adjust this obviously and um, it works out pretty well, but I don't find myself needing to like, you know, go right under the desk all that often, if you know what I mean. These can be adjusted um, in and out. You do have some settings um, where basically on each side, you can basically pull this trigger and raise and lower these. And um, beyond that, I mean, I haven't really needed to do too much adjustment beyond that. In terms of the chair itself, you have quite a few adjustment options. So there's actually um, a mechanism here that can be used to, they even give you kind of a graphic and I'll turn my camera. Um, this will basically lower or um, move the back piece, the whole mesh back piece. It'll move this forward or back. You've also got an adjustment piece here that can be used. I believe this is um, for some of the tension in the chair itself in terms of the tilt of the actual piece on the base. So this can actually tilt like this. And one of the things that I recently had to do, um, even after using it for a couple of months when I initially got it was, I just found myself leaning forward a lot more than I probably should have been. And you can adjust the base of this so that um, it's going to support you more in the front of the seat and then that's gonna prevent you from leaning forward. You also have um, this rotational adjustment here and these two levers, which also can aid in the adjustment of the seat, whether or not it's going forward or back, um, or as well as tilting and giving you some of the options there. You also do have the capability that um, right now I have the chair set up in such a way where the back piece is basically very stiff, but if you release some of the settings, you can actually have this kind of move with you. Um, where it's gonna kind of rock depending on the pressure you put into it. So that's kind of nice depending on your, your preference and what you want. And then of course you've got your standard um, adjustments. If you want to, there's another adjustment piece here. If you want to raise this up or down, you can do that. Another thing that I decided to do and not to say that they were bad, but this does have um, 
caster wheels that come on it that are fairly standard. They worked okay, but I actually found some of these aftermarket ones that glide really well. Um, they fit into the autonomous chair no problem, and I wasn't able, I, I really didn't have any issues with, with these, um, putting them into this. So basically it was a universal fit if you do decide that you want to get aftermarket wheels like what I've done here. Um, these ones glide a little bit better, and I just personally prefer it. And it was a nice little upgrade. So that's something you can definitely consider with the autonomous. But yeah, overall, um, given that I've had this for a few years, it's taken a little bit of a beating from cats and just it's even gotten some dust on it over time. I really think it's probably one of my favorite office chairs that I've ever used. I think it's very much worth the the, um, the investment into it. And if you're looking for something that's going to both look really nice and be very comfortable, I really think you can't go wrong with autonomous. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I'll talk to you later.